feeling in the pit of your stomach where you really, really crave something. I know I have at least once or twice. I'll even go as far as saying that I crave healthy food. I know, it's a shock. But, you know, not all healthy foods are bad and avoidable. There's um, a sweet, nutritious treat that I'm very familiar with that goes by the name of fruit kebabs. So when making fruit kebabs, it is vital to know the background knowledge, steps, and ingredients in order to successfully create them. Um, knowing the history of like something that you're making or like looking into, not only gives you um, an idea and an image of the place, but it also can introduce cultures that like you've never heard of. And I discovered that fruit kebabs originated in the Near East. Um, and personally, I've never been to that place at all. And, you know, when you think of the Near East, you might think of, like, the Middle East and terrorists and war, but, like, that's not it at all. It's a thriving cu culture where, um, like, there's, it's full of food and just really good food, and you would never know because of the generic terms that you, like, put on this place. Um, and, you know, since, like, the kebabs have been originated, there's so many kinds. There's... There's like the fruit kebabs, meat kebabs, and like vegetable kebabs. And so that's like plenty of reasons why you should make them. <laughs> um, this is like, I think that fruit kebabs are one of the simpler recipes to make. Um, so you need at least three different kinds of fruit. Um, I have blueberries, grapes, and apples. Um, and you need a cutting board, or this, a sharp knife. And toothpicks. Oh, I have a sharp knife, grapes, apple, blueberry, and toothpicks. Um, so it really can't get much simpler than that. And it's, it only takes like a minute to make or like to get everything together because it can be easily found in your kitchen. So there's no excuse not to make them. Um, first, and the most important thing, you gotta wash your hands and you gotta wash the fruit. Because I know some people are like, they don't, they have to have their fruit washed. It's just like this thing. So with the blueberries, you're gonna put them on the cutting board, and they're already washed. And I don't think you would cut a blueberry, so you're done. You just put it off to the side. And then with the grapes, um, there's two ways you can do it. You can either just wash them or and just leave them. Or you could cut them down the middle, and then you put them aside. I left them, like, alone. I just washed them, and I was done. And now the apple is, like, a trickier fruit to cut because it's so, like, big, and there's, like, seeds inside and stuff. <laughs> um, so what you want to do is you want to stand it upright, and then you cut down the center, like so. And then you're just going to keep cutting and cutting until you have like small bite sizable pieces. And some people are like, they don't like the skin as much. So you can, I don't know if this is a word, but you can twiddle with the knife and get like the skin off like you would with a potato. And then once you're done, um, you slide them onto a toothpick. So you just kind of poke it through, and poke it through, and then you have your toothpick. Um, so you can put as many as you want on, or how many you can fit on the toothpick. Uh, I just did three, and then you're done. And this is the end result. Um, so knowing the background knowledge, ingredients, and steps will help you get on the right track with those painful hunger sessions. Um, when you're really craving something, you should definitely think of fruit kebabs because it not only fills you up, it also gives you the energy to complete the day. They're quick, easy, and fun, a triple threat. And uh, as Luc de Vavan argues, a French philosopher once said, the fruit derived from labor is the sweetest of pleasures. Hopefully, you, after you try this, you'll agree.